Hello dear friends, I'm Samuel Moore and welcome to this week's video lesson. As many of you know, I recently launched my new flamenco guitar tutorial book, Flamenco Guitar Compass Essentials Soleil. This book and the series it's part of explores the spontaneous nature of flamenco performance. You can find out more about the book via the link in the description below. But for today, I'd like to share with you a little snippet from the book so you can get a sense of some of the things you'll learn. Specifically, I'm going to teach you a very simple melodic phrase that can be used on beats 7, 8 and 9 of Soleil's basic compass to get more variety and spontaneity into your performances. The phrase you're going to learn sounds like this. Here it is again in the context of Soleil's basic compass. And here's the phrase one more time, but with me counting the numbers. So before we get to talking about how you use that language in your playing more generally, let's first learn the specific 789 phrase. The phrase is very simple. It's built around this chord shape. It's a Lydian chord, an F Lydian chord to be specific. I'm saying F by the way, assuming the capo isn't there. So I'm describing the shape rather than the pitch of the specific notes when I say note names. And by the way, don't get too worried about the word Lydian. It's kind of a fancy way in a guitar context of saying the F bar chord, but without the bar. Now, that's the shape that you're building this around and you're lining the fingers up on strings two, three, and four. And the thumb's going to do the bass notes. So the first thing that's gonna happen is you're gonna play the F bass note with the thumb. And then you're going to do an arpeggio going a, M, I. So that's beat seven. Then on beat eight, similar sort of thing. You're going to play the bass note C. So basically the one that this finger's playing. And then you're just going to go down the arpeggio. I, M, A. So put those two together and you get this. Then it's simply a matter of bringing this hand up to picao position, but you're about to go I, M, I, M, rest stroke. And you're gonna do a melodic line that's chromatic starting on C. It's gonna go C, C sharp, D, D sharp. And by the way, that starts with the index finger. So it's I, M, I, M. Put that with what you've already got, and it sounds like this. If I now say it with the numbers, seven, eight, nine. So that's the simple melodic phrase I want to show you today. Why am I showing you this? Well, this goes to the heart of one of the big subjects covered in the book. When you're learning the compass of a flamenco palo like Soleil, it's good to bear in mind that the compass passages are essentially your core rhythmic ideas. In other words, they're the rhythmic ideas you keep coming back to again and again in between other structural components, such as falsettas and yamatas. With this in mind, you need to have variety in your playing to keep it interesting. And to help students achieve this, I encourage them to think of compass playing as an exercise in variations on a theme. In other words, simple variations evolving from one core idea. I'm not gonna show you how to play what I'm about to demonstrate because that's in the book. But the idea I often show to students as the core Soleil compass idea, in other words, the most simple version of Soleil's basic compass, sounds like this. <laughs> 
if I say it with the numbers, So that's your core idea for soliac on bass playing. But here's the thing. Let's say you're looping that. You don't have to play it the same way every time you loop. The idea that you learned a moment ago will fit perfectly well on beats 7, 8 and 9. In other words, everything else stays the same, but you change beat 7, 8, 9. So instead of playing this, you can play what I showed you at the start. To demonstrate how effective this can be in varying your playing, let me demonstrate by playing the compass loop twice, but the second time I'm going to cut and paste the 7, 8, 9 phrase you've just learned into the playing. Here we go. By changing just one detail, your playing is already sounding more varied. Imagine this. Imagine you have variations from all the different parts of the compass. Let's say you've got seven or eight variations for each bit, and you are able to randomly use the correct parts at the right moment when you're performing. That's essentially one of the big subjects we cover in the book. We look at how to get lots of variety into your compass playing. And I do it by showing you lots of optional variations for your theme. You've had a small taste of that today with the 7, 8, 9 phrase I've just shown you. With this in mind, if you've enjoyed today's class, follow the link in the description below and treat yourself to a copy of my book today. If you enjoy the free content I put out on YouTube, you're going to love the book. For now, however, I leave what you've just learnt in your capable hands.